Hi, if you're watching this video, you certainly want to make a multiplayer game or even learn more about Foton Bolt. So today we see events in Foton Bolt. There is two type of events, the entity events and the global event. In this episode, we will see only the first type entity events. Events are Bolt's way of setting up RPCs. In other words, a remote procedure call, mainly a function call over the network. The way Bolt works is that it packs everything into a single packet each send tick based on your send rate. Entity events are always unreliable. They are intended for small one-off effects like showing a damage indicator or maybe playing an explosion. Things that are ephemeral and if one player misses, it doesn't matter. Entity events are always sent to a particular Bolt entity, meaning that you need a reference to that target entity, either by getting it from a Bolt entity component or similar. So, in order to make an event on the editor, let's right click and click on the new event. And in here, you can select the name, add new properties, like in states and objects and of course if you want to remove some of these you do the control red cross in order to remove them in order to create only entity uh, events you need to select none on the global sender this way you will not implement the global event methods in your event so let's talk now about entity senders. Uh, this little option will select who can send this event over the network. Everyone allows anyone to send this event. Only owner make it that only the peer that created the entity is able to send this event. Only controller means that peer that controls this entity can only send this event to other entities. None means that no one is able to send this event and it will not create any implementation for entity event. So in order to explain how to use events, let's come back to our campfire example from the last episode. So last time we saw how to cook food, but now we want to make everything more fancy. Let's add magic. So let's have a big bag of magic powder that does a cool effect when thrown in the fire. But nothing else happens here. It's just pretty. So we will create an event that we will name firework event in which we will select global senders none, entity senders everyone and add a property color name color. So if we want to send an event, we will write the following code. In the code, we're gonna create a function that will be named whatever we want. Let's say add magic powder. And in here we will have a, a parameter that will be named color. And now we're gonna create our event. So we're gonna need the event type variable event. And in order to create it, we're gonna uh, take the static function create from the firework event and inject on it the entity that will send. Then we're gonna inject to this event simply the color by simply selecting the event.color variable in it and putting the color of our function. Then we're gonna just simply execute the event.send function in order to send it over the network. And what happened if we want to receive this event? Pretty simple. At first, our entity needs to have an entity event listener with the state that we want, of course. It simply replaces the bolt entity behavior. Simple as that. Now we need to override a function that have our events type in the parameter. So here we're gonna simply override the on event firework event event. Simple as that. And then we're gonna need simply to read what we have received in the event with the event variable. So here we're gonna read it like this with a function that is named cool firework and we're gonna inject in it the event.color. So here in this example we have an entity senders everyone and 
we didn't specify any target, in fact. So this event will be sent to everyone who want to read it, of course, and this event, of course, can be sent by whoever want to send it. So the cool magic effect is literally global for everyone. But with entity event, we are not obligated to send it to everyone each time. In fact, we can indicate to who we want to send it. And among our choices, we have eight different choices. So we have by default everyone, we have everyone except owner, everyone except controller, only controller, only owner, only self that will only send the event to the current peer that we are and of course we have the everyone except owner and controller and only controller and owner. So if we want to send a secret firework to a player via our network we'll be able to as a non-controller sender of an entity to write something like that and this way we'll send this event to the peer controlling the entity. So, in order to be sure that you understand everything about events, let's have three questions about uh, how to use event. So, let's remind, last time we left uh, with a situation where uh, we have campfires that have as a owner the server, uh, we have client one uh, that is the controller of his own campfire and client two that is controller of his own campfire. So, let's start the quiz. Each time I will give you answers and pick one of them. First question. So, if firework event entity senders is set to only controller and we have set it target to everyone except owner and controller, who will see the firework if client1 calls this event on his campfire? First is server client1 and client2. Second one is client1 and client2. Third one is only client2 and the fourth one is no one. Let's see the result. So, at first, let's see on the server side. We receive nothing. On the client one side, we receive nothing. But on the client side too, we receive the firework. This means that the answer was the third one, only client two. Next question. If firework event entity senders is set to only owner and we have set a target to everyone except owner, who will see the firework if client1 calls the event on his campfire? The answers are the following. First one is only the server. Second one is client1 and client2. Third one is only client2. Fourth one is no one. The answer is error, no one, because as a controller of this entity, we cannot send this event. Last question, if firework event entity senders is set to everyone and we have set a target to only self, who will see the firework if the server calls this event on client1 campfire? Is it first? server client1 and client2 second answer is only the server third only client1 fourth server and client1 let's see the answers on the server side we receive the event of course because we are the sender and we are the peer that will receive because we are only target only self. On the other way, client one side received nothing, of course, and client side two received nothing. This means that the correct answer is the second one, only server. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm really glad that this tutorial helps you. I'm really happy about that. And yeah, so see you next week about uh, events, mainly global events. And have a nice day. Remember to code every day, check our social media and see you next time.